Okay, my last political video I'm going to do today. Now, I know that I touched on the Middle East and on Australia the other day. Australia's pretty straightforward. We're pretty run-of-the-mill. Uh, the Middle East is working itself out at the moment. Um, ups and downs, ins and outs. Middle East bumbling along. Wrong choice of words, not really bumbling, but moving along as per normal. So I don't see anything dramatic happening in either area. Oh, hope I'm right. But I do want to have a quick look. Touch again on North Korea. It was a while that I looked at North Korea. And the reading was not good. And I did have a... Someone asked a question in the comments section and I did uh, do a further reading on North Korea. Just very briefly, a couple of cards just to answer that question. I just want to see where North Korea is at. It's been very quiet. I mean, I know they did launch a missile supposedly from a submarine. But North Korea in itself has been quiet. Not up to its usual um, bolshy standard. So I just want to, ha and, and of course, information doesn't come out from North Korea. So I just want to have a quick look at what's happening in North Korea. Uh, first up is uh, Kim Jong-un, who is the leader of North Korea. He's lost a significant amount of weight recently. He's promoted his sister to the top ruling body. Um, so I just want to have a quick look at his health. Uh, dramatic weight loss. Oh, okay, yes, he could have lost some weight. He was rather large. But the sort of dramatic weight loss we've seen is not um, healthy. So I just want to have a quick look at Kim Jong-un's health. Tell me about Kim Jong-un's health, please. Oh, what we've got here is a plan in place. For the Emperor. Moving on. And uh, bringing forward a message of uncovering a truth. A harsh truth. Building a foundation partnerships, moving away from what does not serve. There is no, uh, the next card was the devil, but I'm tossing up whether that actually belongs out on the top of the deck, out in the cold, difficult decisions, secrets being kept, death. Okay. So it's not just basic weight loss, it is a health issue. Now death doesn't necessarily mean death, it can just mean dramatic change, authentic reform. Uh, but I'll just say that his, his dramatic weight loss is not through dieting, through choice of dieting. There are health issues there. So tell me about Kim Yo Jong. She is the sister of Kim Jong-un, powerful figure, attractive young lady, don't know that it comes with compassionate substance behind, we'll have a look. Tell me who is Kim Yo Jong. Do apologise if I have pronounced that incorrectly. Tell me about Kim Yo-jong, the sister of Kim Jong-un. Tell me about Kim Yo-jong. Tell me about Kim Yo-jong. Tell me about Kim. All the cards are just wanting to keep going. <laughs> Tell me about Kim Yo-jong. Obviously looking for the right card. Okay. Interesting first card. 
she's feeling like she is uh, held hostage, isolated. This is her queen of coins. She's very practical and currently playing happy families. However, we've got the walking away, the death, and offer. So this is telling me that she is biding her time. I see this as she's going to, she's waiting to take over from her brother with the death. Walking away from what is not serving her. I think she's going to follow her own path at the moment. She's playing happy families and supportive of her brother. But I do see that that she's she's feeling hamstrung at the moment, and she's biding her time. Okay, I think Co uh, North Korea. Didn't see her coming to power. That was interesting. I'll just ask, does Kim Yo Jong come to power in the top job? Does Kim Yo Jong come to power in the top job of North Korea? Does Kim Yo Jong come to power in the top job? North Korea. Victory. A message of truth. Uncovering a truth. Loss. Illusion and delusion. Knight of Swords. So yes, she will. Justice at the base of the pack. So yes, she will. Um, she sees this as her. Is bringing justice to North Korea. Beware the double-edged sword that he's carrying, but the King of Swords. Insightful logical, this is her, insightful and logical. There is delusion going on in North Korea with loss. I see this is very potentially Kim Jong-un. And victory. What I'm getting is she's actually pulling the strings at the moment. With his health, she is actually the power at the moment, which would probably explain why they've gone a bit quiet. They're just sorting, <laughs> reassessing. Secrets. They're just... Uh, Working out where now, where to now. So, okay. We haven't heard anything about COVID in North Korea. Apparently they've got no cases, no deaths. Unlike the rest of the world. Yes, a lot of countries don't report the deaths because in a lot of third world countries one simply dies. Uh, got a lot of testing going on in a lot of these secondary and third world countries just want to ask about COVID in North Korea. What is happening with COVID in North Korea? They have a malnourished, very poor population. A lot of money goes on to military spending in the upper echelons. To the detriment of those lower, there's a lot of sanctions on the country. 
cannot feed their own populace. They are reliant on imports from China and Russia. But these are also difficult to get through, especially in winter. What is happening with COVID in North Korea? Master, please tell me. COVID in North Korea. Feeling very lightheaded. Master, COVID in North Korea, please. Right, okay. There is a plan. Decisions to be made. Asking help of the rest of the world. There is a, a luxury, a wealth, a strength of character, willing sacrifice. Intergenerational money, moving on, assessing the harvest. It's not telling me anything bad, but I think what's happening is that those in the position of power and luxury are taking control and uh, sacrificing for the for this illusion of maintaining their power can I just have a just grab a clarifier on this hangman I, I get the feeling that what they're doing is they're sacrificing their or to keep up the illusion of strength and control. Please clarify on this hanged man, please clarify on this hanged man. Am I reading too much into it? Please clarify on this hanged man. Am I bringing my own biases in? Got to be very careful of that. Please clarify on this hanged man. Happy family. Uh, going back to the past. Out in the cold. Rejected. Death. So this is the this is the community, the marketplace, the families are being shunned. Out in the cold, destitute, and death. Yeah, my gut feeling was right. Oh, sometimes I don't like it when it is. Right, now, when I last read on North Korea, I very vividly saw their nuclear program going ahead, but there being some form of accident, severe nuclear accident. Now I'm hoping I'm wrong. Um, when I someone asked about when, I came up with several. I drew some cards, and because spirit's terrible at timelines there there is no timeline in the spirit world so they do have difficulty indicating a timeline but I got a series of sevens in the cards that I pulled which would indicate seven months the seventh month uh, might have even been 2027 um, very hard to tell but I just want to master please tell me Last time I read on North Korea, I saw a nuclear accident, a severe nuclear accident. With the change from Kim Jong to Kim Yo, this is still on the cards. With COVID, 
with everything else that's going on in the world. Tell me about the North Korea nuclear program. They have gone relatively quiet aside from this one missile recently. Please tell me about the North Korea, which I think is because of COVID. Sickness and death. But please tell me about North Korea's nuclear program, please. North Korea's nuclear program. Loss. Anxiety. Illu uh, wish fulfillment. But illusion. Out in the cold. Complete downfall. Okay, I don't know that that needs any more explanation. You're pushing ahead with it under a delusion, but it will cause much anxiety and loss and ultimately downfall. Okay, we'll, okay, I want to end it on a positive note. We'll one day, North Korea. I don't know if rejoin is the right word. Open. Open to the rest of the world. Rejoin. Open up. Rejoin. Will one day, North Korea. Rejoin the rest of the world. Well, one day. Now, one day can be 10 years, 50 years, next month. But hoping for well, one day North Korea rejoin the rest of the world. Open, it, open its doors. Relax its regime. Not quite sure why it thrives on the. It's all about power. Fear it thrives on fear, and fear is giving the upper echelons power. Will one day North Korea rejoin the rest of the world? Yes, King of Swords, Mentors, Logical, Insight, Bringing the Truth, Ace of Coins, New Beginning. The Moon, there is a murky underbelly that will need to be exposed. But yes, so yes it will. And planning with the world. So yes, it will. Just very quickly ask, when do we have a timeline? Okay. Are you able to give me? I know it's difficult. A timeline spirit. For North Korea. North Korea. When North Korea will drop its facade of fear and rejoin the rest of the world. Can you give me a timeline when North Korea will open and embrace all of humanity? Can you give me a timeline please? It is going to have an offer made to it. Okay, 
to remain out in the cold. It will take a death before it moves on. Now, I suspect this is the death of the regime. When the Kim Jong's uh, the end of their line, there will be a vacuum that will need to be filled and it will be filled by a stable and compassionate. So I'm getting the feeling that it's when the so Kim Jong Un and Kim Jong Kim Yo Jong when their uh, regime ends that's when Korea will start to make moves to rejoin the world. So on that positive note, um, hope you got something out of it and uh, I shall catch up later. We will read again on all these countries. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Love to you all.